Hi, it's Andy Adams, and I am here at IBEX 2015, the International Boat Builders Exposition, being held in Louisville, Kentucky. This is a terrific year for new products and innovations. We have seen a record number of innovation awards competition entries, and I've gone around with the video camera to be able to talk to a number of the exhibitors about their cool new products. Have a look at what I found. Hi, it's Andy Adams at Canadian Yachting Magazine, and I'm here at IBEX 2015. We have an interesting piece of information from Seastar out of Richmond, BC. And uh, so, tell me your name and your title and, and uh, explain what we've done. Sure, yeah, uh, my name is Brian Dudra, uh, Director of Engineering for Seastar Solutions. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about uh, our new developments. It's, it's Optimus Electronic Power Steering for, uh, for inboard vessels, sort of in the 40 to 70 foot range. Great, big new product. Absolutely. So let's have a look. Sure. Uh, so this is based on our Optimus power steering, which we launched in 2012 at the same show at IBEX. Um, and what it is, it's it's a fully electronic uh, helm. It's coupled to our pump control module, which is really all the electronics, the, the brains of the system. Uh, and that then in, in turn powers uh, a hydraulic power unit, in this case it has two hydraulic motors uh, powering hydraulic fluid. That power pack powers a large inboard steering cylinder. So again, this will be connected to your, your tiller on a 40 to 70 foot yacht. Uh, we add in this black sensor here. This sensor reads the position the, of, of the steering cylinder and electronically feeds that signal back to the electronics, the pump control module. So the real advantage in this whole system is from a usability point of view, the user can electronically adjust the number of steering wheel turns that the vessel has. They can go from four turns up to eight turns. Uh, that can also change based on the speed of the vessel. So as you start going faster, you can reduce your steering sensitivity, you can increase the number of turns. You can also change the steering wheel resistance or the effort to turn the steering wheel. Again, that's speed dependent. So as you start going faster, the steering wheel resistance actually increases to make it uh, a much firmer feel. Also the steering travel, so if I'm at low speeds I can turn the steering wheel and turn the, the tillers all the way to hard stop. As I increase the speed of the vessel you can limit the amount of steering travel there is so you can't take the, the boat into such a, a hard turn uh, and hit 30 degrees or 35 degrees of rudder movement. Uh, the electronics allows you to be uh, plug and play with uh, autopilot manufacturers, so there's no requirement to add in an additional hydraulic pump into the system. You simply uh, purchase a, a third party autopilot system and plug it in and electronically the, the two will talk very nicely and again eliminates a lot of the installation time and, and additional components are removed from the system. So has there been a lot of interest in it so far here at IBEX? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So, so again, this is based on our outboard Optimus steering system and, and joystick control that we launched in 2012. Uh, over the years, we've been building on that platform, adding new applications to it. Uh, we've we've uh, introduced electronic power steering for stern drives, for smaller inboards, and at this show here, we're introducing for the larger inboards, again, 40 to 70 feet and there's been a surprisingly uh, a lot of interest in it from a lot of different boat builders that have come down to the show. Uh, we've given an hour-long uh, presentation on the, on the system at the IBEX show here and it's again getting a lot of good press on it. Wonderful, well thanks so much for sharing that with us. Thank you very much.